Here we have the HTC Touch Diamond. You can see its signature beveled back. And we have the interface here. This is the home page. And then you also have this neat little interface along the bottom here, which you can scroll with your finger. Let it go. And scroll. Let it go. You can also slide left and right on the screen to go through it as well, or you can tap. There you go. Okay, we'll go through some of these a little bit. We got here the home page, just to kind of display the time, call histories, calendar. Um, you can get access to your phone, to your programs list. You also go over one, you now have people, which you can flick through here, which is kind of cool. You can also hold your finger here on the side to bring up their names and slide through them that way too. Next, you got your text messaging, which you can flick through. You can also tap on it and it'll bring up the text threaded, which is great for you I'm trying to remember what it is you said to each other. Go over it. We've got email. You get two email accounts here. And you can flick through them. You can also flick backwards. Slide over, you got pictures. Again, you can flick through them. Another thing you can do, you can also click on them. And we have the auto-rotate feature, which is pretty cool. music. Now if we don't have album art in here so uh, a lot of the songs because they all have no album art when I flick through them you're not gonna see the screen change until they get to a certain point so you'll see how those ones flick but see these ones don't. So but if you had different album art they would all flick just like this one did like that. So pretty cool though. Here you have your internet and your uh, bookmarks are kind of lined up right along the bottom. I'm just going to click on one real quick to show you. And the internet on here is Opera 9.5. going to load our web page here. And it works very similar to kind of like the uh, Safari browser on the iPhone where you can double tap to zoom in. And double tap to zoom out, etc. Weather. You can flick through the weather as well to see different cities. And we're going to skip over settings. It's just a list of the settings you can change. And here's just some shortcuts that you can create. You can click remove to delete them. You can scroll down, add more, etc. Pretty cool. And then you can also get the programs here at the bottom. Or you can do it the way you're used to doing it with Windows Mobile, which is start, and you got your programs right here. And that pretty much covers the uh, HTC Touch Diamond.